Hello everyone, this is Chinmay from Make a Dog Clinic. Welcome back to our show. Technical talk is always, you know, it, it gives you kind of a craving. Yes, I want to know some more. I want to know some more. And I'm also trying to understand a lot of things because of you. Uh, in fact, uh, reconnecting also. So this is the kind of uh, a sweet what I'm giving you now. So um, I have chosen this topic that is uh, breathing system. You see breathing system, breathing system. Ariel has got different breathing system. Old generation CI has got different breathing system. The, there were there were total three four not total I should say I don't remember now anyways. So there are so many generations uh, through what Royal Enfield has uh, you know uh, what we can say is that they have introduced lots of engines and engines have gone through so many generations with different different implemented or in, uh, with implementations right so the implemented material was there in new generation bike and this is the uh, the current generation uh, before himalayan of course i am not talking about the himalayan so i am not going to describe you right about this uh, right now but i am i am going to describe about this uc engine so let's come to this main point now this is the breather box of the uc engine what is what is the meaning of breather box basically engine uh, requires breathing it, uh, it uh, there is a system i'll show you the port also so why does this uh, this one require breathing requires because piston has got two charges one is a negative charge and another is a second which is the main is a combustion that is the inlet right where the combustion takes place that that chamber is uh, basically positive side of the piston that is called positive charge charge basically what happens if you uh, try to vacuum it then piston won't be able to go up in fact it will suck down rather than going up so in that case what will happen you will be losing lot of your power so breather box is also very essential in the engine and it has got very great uh, role when the engine starts running in right so the breather box basically separates the air or the gas from the oil engine keep on spitting around engine oil because it, this is the weak point of the uh, hydraulic chamber the oil chamber right so what happens whenever the piston comes down because of that pressure the engine oil tries to come out of this case so the breather box basically separate that oil otherwise you will be losing your oil every time so the separator basically separates the air and supply that air to the air air filter system, air filter unit and it keeps the engine oil as it is in the chamber otherwise you will lose if you, if, if you don't have this system this breathing system you will keep on losing the engine oil so to avoid that engineers have done this kind of a engineering which is constructed on this magnet casing earlier there was a separate breather box near to the battery and uh, old generation bullets were having no breather box it was having directly breather pipe which which used to spit some oil on the chain but in this case uh, since the gen when they changed the generation because of the power they understood the breathing is going to be very high so they need the breathing filter as well as breather box the breathing filter is basically your air filter a uh, crank breather uh, air filter that is what we call and the breathing chamber is this is what we call is a crank uh, breathing system or the breather box now i am going to open up and i'll show you the tracking system before that i'll show you this is the hole from where oil comes down from the or uh, whatever the separated oil is there it comes down from this port into the magnet casing and if you see this port the upper port then from that the air goes in right so these are the separators basically air goes in and oil comes out and the air uh, separated air comes out from this uh, breathing nipple now this is to and fro this nipple is given for to and fro purpose 
air comes in air comes out air comes in air comes out but when the air comes in at that time there is no oil but when the engine rotates and when the hydraulic pressure increases when the gas becomes uh, whatever the gas uh, gets generated because of the heat whatever the pressure is there at that time the air goes air goes from this side and tries to go with the oil but the breather box what it does it separates the oil and it keeps the oil downside and only air goes towards the filter so this is the tracking system of the breathing uh, air uh, this uh, crank breather now i'm going to open up all those one two three four five six uh, don't forget to change the packing because uh, uh, using old packing is totally stupid because it will leak everything and again you will have to open everything uh, we are in the middle of engine assembly but this portion i'm going to or this um, uh, particular uh, video i'm going to upload now only before i pre uh, this is a pre assembly video so i'm going to upload now only so i'm just going to open up all the uh, allen bolts from from the cover then i'll show you the uh, tracking this is the uh, oil outlet port and as you can see this is the one from where the air comes in and goes out so we have opened this cover now i'll just let's open up the cover okay now if you look at this portion this area it looks very complicated but these are basically separators the separators basically separate the oil from the air and then supplies the air to the air filter or uh, the engine basically breathes inhaling exhaling just like human and send the uh, exhaling kind of a thing what we can say that air which is a used air to the air filter for the filtration purpose and then again that air gets reused uh, by the engine and it gets sucked in because of the suction so this is the engine breathing system what you can see these are the separators as you can see this is the uh, this is the hole basically for the oil then this is the uh, hole for the air in and out and this hole is basically is given for the uh, breathing nipple as you can see this uh there is a possibility that uh, you may find some creamish uh substance kind of a thing in this breather box which is a mixture mixture of air uh, water and oil just in case when the engine basically breathes at that time uh, when the engine basically in the running condition it gets hot and it breathes the air but the air also expands and also gets heat up so because of that what happens when you keep the vehicle off for some time the uh, hot air becomes water condensation you must have seen that so it becomes water and it starts mixing around with the oil and then you get this creamish you know kind of a material as you can see there are partition so this is the engine uh, breathing system of uc engine well uh, explain um, the tracking system actual tracking system of this breathing air comes in it comes to this chamber and then goes to this point this hole and the engine sucks in all the air from this point and it rolls inside again the while exhaling this was inhaling now while exhaling the air goes here through this passage air goes here it basically bounces on this chamber uh, wall and then it separates it starts separating around all the oil from this side the oil flows down because of the weight because air is lighter than oil of course uh, then the oil starts separating around in those chambers air again goes back to this port from this port to this port and then it travels back to to uh, to the uh, air filter side through the breathing nipple so this is how basically air and oil separates in this chamber so i hope uh, you guys you have enjoyed this video and thanks for watching and keep connected